You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrians for Black and White Sports. Well, I don't always agree with everything that one comedian, Bill Burr, has got to say, but I am a Bill Burr fan. Uh, I also can get down with anybody that can hammer a white social justice warrior into the ground like he did last week involving John Gruden and the fact that he basically said, go F yourself to a white SJW. Well, Bill Burr's called out a lot of people. He's defended Gina Carano when she got unjustly fired from The Mandalorian on behalf of Disney. And Bill Burr is now hammering the NFL themselves for the shadiness around their uh, pink October breast cancer awareness crap that they do every year. Uh, While on the surface, that seems like a good gesture, I will reveal a couple of things to you, or one thing in particular, during this video that will make you sit back and go, what the f-, f I'm trying to cut my F-bombs out on these videos. Let's get to this because Bill Burr, once again, pulls no damn punches when it comes to giving his opinion on his podcast or anywhere else. Bill Burr blasts the NFL for wearing pink every October. People are aware that there's cancer. And you, on the surface, you may be like, Well, what's wrong with that? I'll get to what's wrong with it. Since 2009, the NFL has decorated its field and players in pink every October. This this shit's going to make Roger Goodell look really bad. To raise awareness for breast cancer. At the surface, it seems like a nice gesture. I just said that article. But comedian Bill Burr doesn't trust the NFL's motives considering its grimy history. He basically just comes right out and calls the NFL a bunch of damn crooks. I've got no issues with that. Quote, believe it or not, people are aware that there is cancer and people are aware that people have died of it. Burt ran it on his Monday morning podcast. I watch sports to escape that. I think that's the biggest reason most of us watch sporting events is to escape real life and the drama of and the trials and tribulations of real life. I watch sports to escape that. I do benefits all the effing time for this S. Good God. I meet people. I see them in beds effing withering away. All of this shit is doom and gloom. Burr said of social media and the news, I have one oasis to watch a bunch of people have a ball and try to get across a effing goal line. And people have to bring up doom and gloom again? Why are they doing that? Many cancer patients have echoed Burr's sentiments about decorating TV shows, news segments, and sporting events with breast cancer awareness paraphernalia. And for what? How much money is spent on Breast Cancer Awareness Month actually helps find a cure? This is where you guys, you're going to have a fit. Okay, because I read this and was like, what? Quote, they have sort of a checkered pass when it comes to these things, Burr said, of the NFL, where it looks like they're doing something for others, they're actually making an F load of money off of it. In 2013, it was reported that only 8.01% of the money spent on pink NFL merchandise goes to cancer research. Wow. Sons of bitches. Considering the league's tendency to be frugal and greedy, it shouldn't come as a surprise that their cancer awareness initiative is more for show than substance. Quote, I've been watching the NFL and I have seen what they're doing for the better part of a half a century. The comedian explained, these are the same people who also knew that players were getting brain damaged and they suppressed the effing information. I'm sure their hearts are in the right place, Burr said, sarcastically. And here's the other thing. The NFL's all caught up in concussions, CTE. We're worried about players' safety. 
you can cancel that shit, NFL, because you added a 17th game. And there's heavy rumors. In fact, it's basically well known that you're going to an 18th game in the next five to ten years. That is happening, okay? That is fact. NFL is going to an 18th game. They're getting rid of another preseason game. You might be like, well, they're trading games. No, they're not. No, they're not. Starters don't play in the preseason. So while they want to hypocritically talk about players' safety, they're adding games so players can continue to run their heads into brick walls. Now, look, I'm fully aware the players understand and should understand the risk they are taking. I get that. But I don't want to hear safety and safety and safety from the league while you're adding games, okay? So it doesn't surprise me that they're only giving 8% of the proceeds from their merchandise they're selling to breast cancer when that breast cancer awareness shit is everywhere during their broadcast. Even NFL Red Zone goes into a big thing about breast cancer and the pink and the yada, yada, yada and the damn cleats that are pink and everything else. And Bill Burr, I give him a credit. Once again, he calls out the NFL for their BS. He knows it's BS. And it's crap. Now, you'll have people come out and try to cancel Bill Burr, but he doesn't care if they try to cancel him. Him and Dave Chappelle and Black and White Sports have that in common. We don't give a rat's ass. Okay? So, I got to give him some credit. I like Bill Burr. Like I said, I don't. There's a lot of his politics I don't agree with. But I will give him credit when he will call out things that make a lot of common sense. And in this case, he does. Not only that, but he has went to absolute war with feminists. And it is beautiful. (laughs) Son of a... Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Bill Burr turning Roger Goodell's anus inside out once again. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.